Welcome to the video on the standing stitch. I still cannot believe that I forgot this entirely, but hell, I did. So let me show you what I do. Normally, if people were to start a new row or round in a new color, they would slip stitch and do a couple of chains. The, the traditional method says three, like that. And then you start to do your uh, double crochet, US term, or treble, UK term, um, from there on. Now, the problem is this little chain is very obvious, especially when you work in the round and you've got them all stacked on, on top of one another. It stands out like a sore thumb. It, it really looks bad. So, this is what I do. This is the standing stitch. You put your tail in your hand with the hook and you yarn over a couple of times. It doesn't matter how many, I usually do about five or six and then you are ready to start. So I'm still holding this little tail here, I don't want it to come all undone and I'm pushing with my finger here just to keep the loops from falling off the hook. Okay, so Let's say you are going to do double crochet US or treble UK. So how do we make a double crochet? We yarn over and we fetch and we yarn over through two and we yarn over through two and there's the the stitch perfect you see now all I need to do is do the next stitch and then I can throw all of these off perfect double crochet made top down with the standing stitch method let me do it again Yarn in your hand with your hook, yarn over a couple of times, and we fetch. Yarn over through two, and yarn over through two. There we go. Now suppose I want to do half double crochets, US, or half trebles, UK. Exactly the same thing applies. We go in and we fetch and we yarn over through one, two, three. The third one I help it with my hand because it's a little bit difficult to get the third one over. And there's your half, half double. Let's make the next one so that you can see them next to each other. Oh, let's make another one just for good measure. There you go. Three half double crochets, US, standing next to each other, and the first one doesn't look any different than the rest. Okay, so what about single crochet? Single crochet, US terminology, or a double UK terminology? Alright, we go in and we fetch. Yarn over through two, and there it is. Done. Let's make the next one. And you can see. Perfect. Okay. Now the only thing that might trip you up on this. So I'm going to make a double again. Uh, US terms. And then I'll show you what happens. So I've yarned over a couple of times. I fetch. Yarn over through two. Yarn over through two. I'm going to make two more just to secure the first stitch. And then I'm going to show you what happens. Okay. Now there's another video already on Patreon that says working into standing stitches. And it's because of this. There is the... Let me just open it up nicely for you. There is the front of the V. But the back one is dilapidated. So what you can do if this bothers you is once you've made the standing stitch just pull the front a little bit and then take that back one through and you see what happens there I'm gonna pull it real nice and slow 
and there's your V. You see? Now you have a nice V sitting there that was previously a little bit dilapidated. And there's your standing stitches. I never change color with a slip stitch and a couple of chains. It's ugly. It's actually fugly. You can uh, decipher that one for yourself. So I use standing stitches all the time. Join me.